So when we have a look at this section 2 JZ block, probably the first thing that you'll notice that will be quite surprising to most people is how thin these sections are through here. Um, you know, you just, you wouldn't assume that they would be that thin when you're looking at, you know, a block that hasn't been cut in half. The things to take note of here is, is how thin these areas are, and also these are your main oil galleries here. So you can see how close they are to uh, the crankcase area. So this causes a couple of problems. If you change to an aluminium rod, which a lot of drag racing you can see here is as the crankshaft is rotating, this area is going to hit. And this is where we, we showed you the notches in the RB block earlier, which is this is effectively what you're clearing. So you've, you're very marginal here, like how close you can get before you're going to end up too thin there, and then you're going to have oil pressure leaking into the crankcase. Uh, also, if you do have a failure with a con rod and it doesn't happen to uh, take out the side of the crankcase, it might take out the oil gallery and then you've got a whole heap of other problems trying to repair that. So basically you're continually trying to band-aid and patch it up, whereas with our billet version, these are 15mm thick, which it, it does take um, a very big hit. Um, and I think I could stand corrected on this, but I don't think we've had anyone actually penetrate a block with a Conrod failure to date. Um, but what we've also done is because we've shortened our water jacket, that's allowed us to move these oil galleries up. So we've moved them up alongside the bore, which gives us more area down here for clearancing. But also, if you do have a Conrod failure, it's much less likely to take out the oil gallery which becomes a bigger repair than if there's just some internal damage there. Um, so when, when you have a look at it from this view, what you can see is if we orientate that the same as what we had that block in the engine room, you can see here, here's your 15 millimetre thickness, so you can see how much thicker the crankcase area is. Of course we don't have any scalloping in this area around the main saddles. So we've got the maximum amount of material in there. So if we drag this further forward and come back to where the cylinder head fastener is, so there we can see them there. So these are your oil drains from the cylinder head down into the crankcase. Here's your main galleries with the feed into the main bearing saddle. And here is your fastener. So you can see the counter bore there. And then from this point down is your thread. And so this is what I was talking about earlier with the longer fastener. We have our purchase point below the deck to minimise distortion in that area. But then also you can see that this is solid aluminium all through here and round into this Siamese section of the bore. So that's called a Siamese bore for obvious reasons. It's joined. And so by using a Siamese bore system, this increases the rigidity in the entire block uh, and this assists us with keeping the deck flat and also preventing this main tunnel from distorting because the whole block itself is is more of a, a beam construction so it's less likely to distort.